experiencia. Mucha experiencia. By Los Pericos. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We're on the road in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Argentina is still dealing with the dark legacy of its bloody military dictatorship between 1976 and 1983. On Monday, one of the symbols of the dictatorship, Emilio Macera, died at the age of 85. He was leader of the military junta and the former head of the country's most notorious political prison, known as ESMA, where thousands of people were tortured and killed. The seven-year period it came to be known as Argentina's Dirty War, a reign of terror, terror by a military junta that's been blamed for an estimated 30,000 deaths and disappearances and the persecution of tens of thousands more. Students, labor leaders, dissidents, peasants, and human rights activists were hunted down. They were imprisoned. They were disappeared. They were killed. They were tortured. Many of the disappeared were thrown from airplanes into the ocean while still alive. Others were killed and buried in mass graves. Well, my next guest is called uh, Nieto Recuperado, or uh, Recovered Grandchild here in Argentina. He's one of thousands of children who were born to parents who'd been disappeared during the dictatorship. These children were born in captivity, then kidnapped by the military and given away to government supporters or military families. Manuel Gonzalez is the son of Gaston Gonzalez, who was killed during the dictatorship. His mother was also killed. Former police officer and leader of the conservative Federalist Union Party, Luis Pati, is currently on trial for the torture and murder of a number of people, including Manuel's father. Manuel Gonzalez joins me now. We welcome you to Democracy Now!, Manuel. Manuel is being translated by Andres Tomas Canteras um, with Democracy Now! in Spanish, which we're also celebrating the fifth anniversary of our headlines being translated into Spanish. Welcome to Democracy Now!, Manuel. Bienvenido a Democracy Now!. Muchas gracias. We also, I should say, the music you just heard by Los Pericos, uh, one of the band members is Manuel's brother, who was named after his father, Gaston, Gaston Gonzalez, who was killed during the dictatorship. Tell us your story, Manuel. Um, what do you understand uh, where your mother was when you were born? Cuéntanos tu historia. ¿Cuál fue tu entendimiento de tu madre cuando tú naciste? Eh, bueno, mi historia vinculada con la dictadura empieza el mismo día del golpe militar porque mi papá fue secuestrado ese día. My story begins on the very day that the dictatorship began uh, in 1976 because that's the day that my father was kidnapped. Mi mamá en ese momento estaba embarazada de mí. My mother at that time was pregnant with me. Y bueno, por una cuestión de seguridad y porque también estaba perseguida, se fue de Buenos Aires, que era su lugar de origen. And for security reasons, she left Buenos Aires uh, because uh, to save her own life. A otra ciudad, a dos horas de acá, que se llama San Nicolás. She went to San Nicolás, a city that is two hours away from Buenos Aires. Ahí encontró un lugar, una casa donde con una con una pareja con sus dos niños también de tres y cinco años que venían desde Entre Ríos, otra. Provincia. There she was uh, joined with another family who, who had two kids who were ages three and five who came from another province. Pudimos quedarnos ahí varios meses. Yo estuve con mi mamá hasta los cinco meses. We were there for several months and I was there with my mother until I was five months old. No sé dónde nací. Mi mamá ya estaba en una situación clandestina, así que no tengo idea de dónde nací. But I don't know exactly where I was born because my mother was in a clandestine detention center at that time. Pero bueno, el 19 de noviembre del 76, las fuerzas del ejército, la policía federal y la policía de la provincia atacaron la casa donde vivíamos. 19 November of 1976, several different branches of the military and police came to our home and they raided it and arrested people. Y las consecuencias de ese ataque es que mataron a todos, incluido a los dos niños. The consequence of that attack is that all of them were killed, including the two children. Y yo soy el único sobreviviente. And I am the only uh, survivor. And what happened to you? ¿Y qué te pasó? 
Bueno, fui dejado en el hospital de la ciudad de San Nicolás porque estaba con muchos problemas para respirar. I was left in the hospital there in San Nicolás because I had breathing problems. O sea, me, me estaba muriendo, no había muchas opciones. Ahí. I was dying really and there were not many options. En el hospital me salvaron, pero el juez de menores de la ciudad me puso una custodia policial durante cuatro meses. They saved my life in that hospital, but at the time the judge in charge of minors put me under custody for several months. Había la custodia policial tenía el propósito de atrapar a quienes quisieran venir a buscarme. So the idea was to put me under custody and to protect me from those who wanted to capture me. Finalmente me dieron adopción de manera muy irregular a través de otro juzgado de menores y me fui con una familia y perdí mi identidad. So then I was given through in a very irregular situation under adoption to another family and there I lost my identity. And that's who you grew up with. Y tú creciste con esa familia. Yo crecí y sigo teniendo relación con la familia porque no es responsable del hecho en sí. Yes, I grew up with that family and I continue to be in contact with them because they are not responsible per se as to what happened. So when did you, uh, did you know you were adopted from the beginning? Supiste desde el comienzo que eres, sí. fuiste adoptado. But yes. you didn't know the circumstances. You Pero didn't no know los, that you were born in captivity. Las, las no, no, no sabía por qué. How no, did I did you not find know out? the circumstances. ¿Y cómo descubriste? Bueno, en realidad eh, me encontraron. Yo no fui a buscar mi identidad. Yo tenía... In reality, they found, they found me. I did not discover my own identity myself. Tenía 19 años cuando una tarde normal un señor tocó el timbre de when mi casa. I was, when I was 19 years old, uh, it was an ordinary day and uh, a man uh, came to the door. Y me dijo, bueno, pidió entrar y para mí era alguien sospechoso. And he, uh, he asked to come in and for me he looked like a very suspicious man. Lo cierto es que unos minutos después yo no quería que ese señor se vaya de mi casa porque él sabía de mí más que yo mismo, ¿no? A few minutes later I wanted him to leave because he knew more about myself than I knew. Y él me dijo que, lo primero que me dijo fue que tu familia biológica te está buscando. The first thing he told me is that your biological family is looking for you. Y lo segundo que me dijo fue, tu mamá y tu papá están desaparecidos. And the second thing he told me is that your mother and your father are disappeared. Para mí fue muy duro eso, pero tiene mucho sentido que lo haya hecho así, porque lo primero que yo me imaginé fue una mamá y un papá cuando... Me hablaron de una familia, ¿no? That makes sense to me because uh, the first thing I imagined was to have a mother and a father, like a normal family. Y así fue que me contó que mi abuela era una de las abuelas de Plaza de Mayo que me estaba buscando hacía 19 años. And he told me that my grandmother was one of the grandmothers of the Plaza de Mayo who had been looking for me for 19 years. And just to clarify, the grandmothers, the mothers of the Plaza de Mayo are the women, the mothers and grandmothers of those who have been disappeared. And they organized and marched in the Plaza de Mayo every single week holding the pictures of their children and their grandchildren. So your grandmother, how did she know, how did she come to recognize who you were and where you were? Bueno, en realidad pasaron infinidad de cosas, muchas de ellas muy fortuitas para que puedan llegar a mí. Well, really, uh, an infinity of things happened. Many of them were fortunate in order for her to reach me. Las abuelas desde el comienzo, incluso ya en la dictadura, pero... Obviamente después en la democracia fueron armando una base de datos muy importante. The grandmothers first during the period of the dictatorship and then later in the civilian rule began to put together a large database. Así es que uno de los casos hablaba de un operativo militar en San Nicolás donde había quedado un solo sobreviviente. And one of the cases spoke of an operation in San Nicolás where there was one survivor. Entonces fueron, investigaron ese caso y aparecieron algunas pistas, incluso unas fotocopias del documento de mi mamá. So they investigated that case and they found some clues and one of the pieces of evidence was a, a photograph of my mother. Al poder reconocer, eh, identificar que esa persona, esa mujer que habían asesinado en esa casa era mi mamá, sabían que yo era su nieto. When, when they discovered through this photo that that woman was my mother, then they had evidence that I was that child. 
Your brother was also looking for you, Gaston Gonsalves. Uh, Los Pericos is a famous Argentine band. He's one of the band members. He's a few years older than you. Sí, él tiene siete años más y como somos hijos de distinta mamá, él se quedó cuando mi papá fue secuestrado. Él se quedó con su mamá y sabe todo desde siempre. He is seven years older than I, and he has a different mother than I do, and his history is that he remained with his mother, and I did not. Por eso es que él no perdió su identidad. Él sabía que tenía un hermano que estaba desaparecido. So he did not lose his identity. He did know that he had a disappeared younger brother. Tell me about the day that you reunited with your brother and with your grandmother. La, al, la primera que conocí fue a mi abuela. The first person eh, I recognized or that I met up with was my grandmother. Y la verdad que yo fui con este señor que había llegado a mi casa y que fue la, un antropólogo forense. And I went with this man who had come to my house who was a forensic anthropologist. Y bueno, llegamos a la casa de mi abuela, al departamento, tocamos el timbre. And we arrived to the home of my grandmother and we were at the doorbell. Y yo me quedé esperando el momento en el que la puerta del ascensor se abriese porque sabía que era la primera vez que iba a ver a mi abuela y que no me lo iba a olvidar nunca, ¿no? And that's a moment that I will never forget because I was awaiting uh, the opening of the elevator door because I knew my grandmother would come out of it. Así fue que se abrió la puerta y apareció una típica abuela, ¿no? Que... So the door opened and it was a typical grandmother. Pero de, era una señora a la que yo sabía que no me iba a alcanzar la vida para poder agradecerle lo que había hecho por mí. But I knew that she would not live long enough in order for me to give thanks for everything she had done for me. Nos dimos un gran abrazo, me preguntó si estaba bien. Y me we embraced one another and she asked me if I was doing well. Y me invitó a comer como, como hacen las abuelas, ¿no? She invited me to eat as grandmothers Mucho. often do and she fed me a lot. Your father is killer. Um, El que asesinó a tu padre. Pati, who is a conservative politician, very well-known policeman in Argentina, is on trial right now for killing your father and others. Are you going to the trial? Si yo soy quien impulsó eso, abrí la causa judicial para que algún día se llegue a un juicio. Eso fue hace seis años. Yes, six years ago, I'm the one who began this case, um, which has now moved to trial. En el medio de estos seis años mi abuela murió, pero pudo dar su testimonio ante el juez. In the middle of the six year period, my mother, I'm sorry, my grandmother died, but she was able to give testimony before a judge. Y hoy ese juicio ya se está celebrando y Patty está en la cárcel desde hace tres años. So uh, that uh, judicial proceeding is moving forward and Patty has been in prison for the last three years. Y durante estos seis, seis años, él intentando mantenerse en la impunidad, quiso ser diputado nacional para tener fueros y no poder ser, eh, no poder eh, tener que rendir cuenta ante la justicia. ¿no? So one of the efforts that this man did, Pati, was to try to become an elected member of Congress so that he would then have protection under the law and some sort of immunity so that they could not legally proceed against him. Y logramos que todas las fuerzas políticas, todas, el oficialismo y la oposición, salvo obviamente el partido de, de Patti, eh, voten en el Congreso Nacional que él no merecía estar dentro de esa Cámara. So we were able to get all of the political forces together except the political party that Patti belongs to. They all joined together so that he could not enjoy this kind of protection. Eso fue muy importante porque sentó un precedente para que se sancione una ley por la cual los acusados de haber cometido delitos de lesa humanidad no puedan ocupar cargos públicos. This is a very important proceeding because it set a precedent for those who are accused of crimes against humanity as civilians could not uh, enjoy uh, immunity protection. Well, Manuel, I want to thank you very much for being with us. And people can go to our website at democracynow.org to see the images of Manuel's family. His father, again, uh, though disappeared, his mother, both his mother and father killed his father's um, killer on trial now. Because of Manuel and others, he was not uh, able to kill with impunity.
Thank you, Manuel Gonzalez. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. We're broadcasting from Buenos Aires. When we come back, a young woman who, when she was 16, was tortured, and she took her torturers to court. They were convicted last year, the day before Christmas, and they were all sentenced to 20 years in prison. We'll hear her story. Stay with us.